Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to your daily 180. We certainly do appreciate you joining us as we begin a new series entitled God Said. Have you ever thought about the fact that God is a God of words? If you're about my age, you'll probably remember a television commercial from back in the late 70s and 80s. E.F. Hutton had a commercial, and it would show people maybe in different settings at a, at a party or things like that, and people would be chattering, and all of a sudden, someone would say, E.F. Hutton says, and as soon as that person said that, everyone would get quiet. And the tagline was, when E.F. Hutton speaks, people listen. You know, that's the way it should be with God. When God speaks, people should listen. Because when God speaks, it is authoritative and it is powerful. As a matter of fact, next week we're going to be looking at one subject regarding the idea that God said. God has told us what is right and wrong regarding marriage. This week we're going to look at a series of subjects regarding what God has said and kind of lay the foundation for that. As we think about that, I want you to think about the fact that when God the Son speaks, it is authoritative and it is unique. As a matter of fact, over in John chapter 7, verse number 46, some officers were sent to arrest Jesus and they come back empty-handed. And they were asked, what is this all about? And they said, no man ever spoke like this man. Do you remember at the end of the Sermon on the Mount? They were amazed because he taught as one having authority. Let me tell you something. Jesus has authority today, and he has authority over every aspect of our life, and we need to listen to him. As a matter of fact, think about uh, Mark chapter 4 and verse number 39. On a tumultuous sea, Jesus arose and listened to what he said, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Now, I want you to think about this. Nature listens to God the Son. Isn't it a shame that nature around us will listen to God the Son, but oftentimes we don't. And we need to realize when God is speaking, we need to be quiet and we need to listen. We certainly do appreciate you being with us today and hope that you'll join us again tomorrow for your daily 180 Bible study.